Hello there guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 career mode with Ace Milan and today we've got episode 19 of the career mode and in today's episode guys after beating Real Madrid over the two legs in the last episode in today's episode we're through into the quarterfinals and we're going to be playing both legs. And here is a look then at the Serie A table and you guys can see we're now up into second place which again isn't bad considering last episode we were down in fourth but Inter Milan now in fourth place themselves but we do have a game in hand on Juventus. We also went ahead then last episode, guys, and tried out our new formation of 3-5-2. Since going ahead and signing Bastoni, I always wanted to go ahead and try a free to the back formation. And I feel like it worked so well. We used it in the second leg against Real Madrid. And again, guys, it really did work for us. And I've just gone ahead then, guys, and noticed as well, Jovic was top of the top scorers in the Serie A. But right now, he's down in second place in 19 goals. Again, only two goals behind. But um, I'm hoping he can reclaim that number one spot once again. And so then, guys, coming up in today's episode, of course, we're going to have some Serie A action. Can we overtake Juventus in the table? It's going to be interesting to see because we do have a game in hand on them. And we could close the gap in terms of points. And also, guys, we're going to find out who we've got in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And we're going to be playing both legs. So you just never know, guys. We beat Real Madrid last episode over two legs. So I feel like we're confident enough to go all the way now. We beat such a big team in at Real Madrid. So if you guys are looking forward to today's episode, please don't forget... Drop a like down below on today's episode, guys. We can hit over 250 likes. That'd be amazing. And also, guys, if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the red subscribe button down below. Let's go ahead then and get into some of your guys' comments from the previous episode. And into the first one, guys, it says, if you keep using this new formation, what will happen to Theo and Calabria? And it's a good point, guys. I did also see another comment down below saying they're not really a big fan of the new formation. Again, Hernandez and Calabria missing out game time. So again, guys, it's a tough one because I do like the formation, but I do think possibly Hernandez could rotate with Brahim and Calabria could rotate with Neres, just possibly, because again, I would need players that do come back and defend a lot better than Neres and Brahim do. So again, that's probably where I could get them game time, but I don't feel like, you know, you know the four free threes off the table. We could always go back to that formation. And so let's get into the next comment, and guys, for today's episode, which says, don't you think Neres has been quite a flop and also love the videos? And thank you, I really do appreciate that. But yeah, Neres, guys, it's, it's hard because I don't want to come out here and say, you know what, he's the worst player in the team, blah, 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 blah. He's actually all right, guys. He's not a bad player. He's just not come in and been that star player I thought he was going to be on that right-hand side for us. As you can see there, his average rating is 6.9. It's not great, guys. In 37 appearances, averaging a 6.9 rating, it's probably got to be one of the lowest in the team. So here we go then into the final comment for today's episode, guys. It says, hey, you can buy Yashin Adley. He is linked with Milan and he is a young midfielder. Back up for Kese or Tanali. And I don't actually know too much about this guy. I've got to be honest, going to go ahead and send a scout report out. Because again, he could be a good player. And I do not want to miss out on another good player, guys. And again, only 21, so plenty of room to grow. And you guys are probably thinking, another midfielder you've just gone ahead and signed to. But you never know, next season, guys, Kessie might say he wants to leave. Or Tonali, he wants to leave. And we have to find someone to replace him. So find a replacement early isn't a bad idea. And also then guys, one thing I do want to ask from you down below in the comment section is what other team should I do guys before FIFA 22 comes out? So I'm guessing right now I've probably got enough time to do one more, one final career mode on FIFA 21. What would you like to see? Or would you like to see something different? You guys have to help me out down below in the comments because like I say guys, once this Milan career mode finishes, I've probably still got around about a month left until FIFA 22 comes out. There's still no word on um, PES or eFootball, whatever you want to call it. So again, help me out down below in the comments. You can see here PSG on this say went ahead and signed Calvert-Lewin. But uh, yeah, guys, help me out down below in the comments. So I do want to go ahead then and get this first game out of the way in today's episode. Because once we get past this game, we can find out who we've got in the Champions League in today's episode, guys. Let's go ahead, quick sim this away from home. Trying out the 3-5-2 and we still do get the win. Ziyech with a goal and also Jovic with a goal as well to get us the three points. And so just quickly then guys, before we do go ahead and check out who we've got in the Champions League in today's episode, let's take a look at the season objectives. And again guys, it's realistically now only three objectives that would look like we are going to complete. Gro Maldini by five overalls, now got up by four guys. He's now 71 rated whilst out on loan. Only seven goals for Jovic and only three more clean sheets. For Mike Mignon. And here you guys can see then after winning our first game in today's episode, obviously we did have a game in hand on Juventus for only two points behind them. Lazio level on points of us and then Inter only two points behind us guys. So it's very close at the top of the table. But enough waiting around then. Let's have a see who we've got in the Champions League guys. I really don't know who it could be. I'm not too sure on the teams that are left in the competition. 
And we do have, okay, Dortmund over two legs in the quarterfinals. You can see there, PSG taking on Barcelona. Inter taking on Bayern. Atletico Madrid taking on Man City. I feel that's a pretty good quarterfinals there, guys. I feel like I'm looking forward to this right now. Dortmund, again, very strong side. They've got Haaland. They've got Sancho still. Because obviously we don't have all the new summer signings in his career mode. So Dortmund still got a strong side. Round of 16, Dortmund did beat Liverpool 6-5. Over two legs. Well, let's get into the next one then, guys. We've got Sassuolo, and we are going to be at home. Once again, another game we can sim. And as you can see, Hernandez can actually play in that left mid role, guys, and still gets a plus two as well, which is really amazing. Because one thing I might do, because Neres hasn't been playing too good, is play Hernandez out on the left, play Brahim out on the right, and then Neres can come in off the bench when needed. It's not a bad idea. It's an idea in, 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 anyway, guys. But let's get into this right now. Two on win. Hernandez with a goal, actually. And Kessie getting a goal. And I'm sure he was playing at centre-back in that game as well. And he was. And so the Sky Report then has returned for Yashin Adley. And here you guys can see he's 74 rated right now. 21 years of age. 6 foot 1. So again, a very tall midfielder. 3 star skill moves at a 3 star weak foot. How much is he worth? Wow, okay. That's quite cheap, guys. Considering the player that you're getting right here. 8.5 was an absolute bargain if I could go ahead and sign him for that. Again, at the moment, he's sort of like an all-round midfielder. Probably more attacking, as you can see. Great finishing on him. Great free kick accuracy as well. Decent long pass, decent short pass. So, yeah, all-round great player. And the good thing about him, because of his age as well, you could sort of develop him how you want. Well, just before we do go ahead then and get into Champions League action in today's episode, guys, we've got a game against Juventus coming up first. And what a massive game this is for us, guys. If we manage to beat them in this game, we could overtake them and be above them by a single point. Also overtake Inter Milan as well who we do have a game in hand on. And so here is then how the two teams are going to line up for this first game we are going to play in today's episode, guys. You can see Juventus still go with the usual 4-4-2. We're going with the 3-5-2. Hernandez on the left-hand side, like I said, guys, and Brahim on the right. I do believe Neres got a red card in that last game, and that is why he cannot feature. Yeah, there you go, red card, guys. That's why he can't feature. Also, Benassa unhappy at the moment. I'm guessing that's down to game time, guys. But again, it's hard to get him in the team when you've got players like Tonali and Kese thriving in that midfield. But either way, let's get into it right now. Let's see how we do and if we can overtake them in the table. Oh, Bastoni cutting that one out. Oh, okay, never mind. Didn't go very far with it here. Ronaldo knowing the ball. Able to get that one forward. Tonali cuts it out. They've got to be careful here. Ronaldo, again, he looks like he's in really good form at the moment. Okay, go on. Brahim, okay, not the best of balls, but we can still send him forward. Got runners in the middle. Ziyech. Oh, just Romero cuts it out. Oh, Jovic, that's great. That's great from Jovic. Let's go. Ziyech, finish. Ziyech, what a strike. Oh, Shesley with an amazing save, to be fair. I feel like I had to take that strike on, guys. Defenders coming in, closing in. But what a what a, what a pass that was from Jovic, by the way. You'll have to go back and take a look at that one. But we do have ourselves a corner right now. Whipped in. Ziyech whips it in. It's in towards Jovic. But Shesney able to come out. Kese right now. Maybe the shot from Kese. But it's easily blocked. Dybala in the middle. Dybala trying to push past there. Hernandez trying to use his pace. Not able to get past in the end. Here we go. Tonali now on the counter. We've got Brahim. Can play it inside. Oh, it's not the best of passes once again. We need to improve a little bit here. Liao can play this one forward. And what was that? Liao. Okay. Overlap on the left hand side. Here we go now. Hernandez. Maybe just take the strike on. It's in. There he goes, 1-0, 26 minutes in, Hernandez goes and scores, and I think it's amazing, guys. You've got him out on the left, you've got Brahim on the right-hand side, and there's no way, it is, it's good that you guys have commented down below, because there's no way you can leave a 90, 91 rated Theo Hernandez out of the team. Do you know what I mean, guys? One of our best players, and comes in off the left, great strike there, Chesney this time not making the save, and we make it 1-0 against Juventus. Okay, Arthur gets the ball out wide right now, let's see if we can cover this one, Bastoni, nope, nope, what? Ronaldo scores, I'm speechless, I'm speechless, guys, I never thought in a million years he's scoring from that angle, and he does at the near post, and he makes it 1-1, literally minutes after we just score with Hernandez. How have we allowed this to go in here? Bastoni, you can't really say, again, you could have said maybe he could have got a foot to that pass. Maybe tried to inset the pass a little bit better here, but Ronaldo's got it there. It's a great strike. It really is. Mike Mignon, again, near post. Should have had that covered, really. Hernandez pushing us forward. Up to Ziyech now. Jovic. Okay, Jovic. Just got to be careful here. Play the pass forward. Out on the left once again. Hernandez is amazing in this game. Hernandez, finish once again. And it's Chesney with a great save. To be fair, Chesney didn't really have to move to save that one. But Hernandez, he's doing so great on the left-hand side, guys. He comes back, defends. Not only that, then got the sprint speed to get back up the pitch and also get a shot on goal. 
Okay, corner. Might have to get ahead of there. We can't, but it is going to fall to Ziyech, maybe. And okay, Ziyech. Maybe it'll have a little cross in. And it's cut out by Marcelo. Ronaldo feeds it back through for Dybala. But Stoney trying to get back. Mike Mignon. Okay. I mean, I thought it was going to come out a little bit faster. I was a little bit worried in case, you know, Dybala tried to chip. But we're straight on the count here. Through the middle for Ziyech. That's a great pass. That's a great pass. Finish Ziyech, please. A Chesney again, guys. Another save. I did not expect him to be saving that one. If I'm going to be honest, I did not expect that at all. Again, I really thought that was going in. Another corner for us, though. Whipped in. Okay, Chesney stayed in goal, but it's easily headed away. Ronaldo, okay, trying to help Juventus right now. Get themselves in front. We should have defended that a lot better here. Let's get someone out there. No, Ronaldo again. No. Guys, what was that about? Rabio now makes it 2-1 in this game. Header from... Pretty much edge of the box. How have we just conceded that? Ronaldo really, really coming in clutch for Juventus right now. Even though he didn't score that goal. It pretty much all started with him, I'm going to be honest. Let's have a see here. Ronaldo plays the pass. Back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo tries the shot. Mike Mignon the save. And then, yeah, look at that. Guys, the, it was an open goal. There wasn't really much we could have done. Okay, just trying to build up slowly here. Ziyech, go on. Ziyech, finish that. Please finish that. It's another save from Chesney, guys. What do we have to do? To get something past him. We don't want to make the change just yet. But CH done amazing there. Created his own space. But it, once again, another save. Chiesa is now going to come on. Okay, I don't like the sound of that. I do not like the sound of that. Here we go. Whipped in from ZH. Another corner. But it's tried the bicycle. Didn't work out. Falls to Leal though. Who, okay, might try and find something inside here. Go on. Ron Magnoli just couldn't go any further. I'm not liking the look of this, guys. Ronaldo. Okay, there we go. Able to get something on it. Tonali now plays the pass forward. Jovic. Leao, go on, go on Leao, there we go, no, what, ref, you're telling me that's not a foul, ref, guys, that has to be a foul, Ziyech can see a ball out wide, there we go, Hernandez, in great space right now, Hernandez, finds the pass over, Leao, uh, guys, I cannot put it on the plate, more than that for him, how is he not finishing that, that, that has to be it, that is this game, done and dusted, Juventus gonna walk away with the three points, and it all fell down to that last attempt there, Hernandez, Great space out wide. The pass inside. Liao just couldn't find the back of the net. So unfortunate for us then, guys. We couldn't go top of the table. Juventus ended up beating us 2-1 in that game. They now go five points clear. And even into Milan, guys, who at one point were down in ninth place above us in the table. But let's go ahead then, guys, and get into our next game. The first leg in the Champions League quarterfinals, guys. Taking on Dortmund. And you can see their team. There actually is no Sancho, which is quite interesting to see. You can see Wolf is playing. So maybe Sancho's out injured. I'm not too sure, but Haaland, Marco Royce behind him. Again, a very strong Dortmund side. And I've got to be honest, our confidence a little bit low after that defeat to Juventus. I feel like, you know, we should have got that late, late goal there from Liao. Just unfortunate not to get it in the back of the net. But uh, it is what it is. But Hernandez, after such a strong game against Juventus, going to feature in this one. Brahim on the right-hand side once again. Yeah, let's get into it, guys. So then, guys, by the looks of it, if we do get past Dortmund, we could be facing Atletico Madrid or Man City in the semi-finals. Now, Dortmund, again, as I've mentioned many times, got a strong team. And you just got to watch out for Haaland, very much so, because I'm not, I'm not looking forward to playing against him with a three at the back. Maybe we should have changed the four at the back, just thinking about it now. But I think if Tonali and Kese can drop deep... Um, that could help us out massively in defending, you know, against the likes of Marco Royce and Haaland. But again... My main point was that we got past Real Madrid. Again, Dortmund have got a strong side, but we got past Real Madrid. There's no reason why we can't get past this Dortmund side. Just have to play a lot better than we did against that Juventus. Um, well, better than we did in that Juventus game. But there you go, Haaland. Ready for this one. We're ready also. Let's get into it. Okay, Jovic lays it off. Tonali plays it down. You've got Leal right now. Leal looking at options to pass inside. Jovic, the touch to finish is... Okay, Fabianski, interesting there, but the ball did bounce around, but unfortunate not to get anything on it. But that's a good start from us, seven minutes in. Okay, Hernandez just able to win it back quite easily there. Ziyech now running forward. Ziyech, you've got to finish this, please. Ziyech, no, Hummels can't get on the head of either. Oh, Matt Hummels, that, that is great. Keeping Dortmund in this game. Haaland making a great run. The pass is in there to him. Hernandez coming across there, guys, and just helping us out because Haaland was through on goal. And that's what I'm saying about Hernandez, guys. Not only is he coming forward and attacking, amazing in defending, and Ziyech. Okay, oh, Hummels being able just to keep hold of that. Okay, Dortmund attacking right now. Haaland on the ball, tries to find the pass inside. Bastoni unable to get the header. Romagnoli able to help us get this one cleared now. And Dortmund really starting to grow into this game. We're struggling a little bit here. Just trying to get past the defence, but we're there. Here we go. Jovic has to be in. Has to be in, and it is in, guys. Look at that for a strike there from Jovic. 
35 minutes in and we take the lead in this game as I'm just about to say, well as I did say, that Dortmund are growing into it and they are growing into it guys, after that first, you know, 10 minutes or so where they were struggling and we was all over them, they are starting to grow into it but we do finally get ourselves a goal, it's a great through ball there from Ziyech and then Jovic again, one on one, his, his finishing is clinical, absolutely clinical, top corner there and there we go, we got ourselves an away goal. Just got to watch the free ball, got to watch the passes as well right now, Wolf out wide. Come on, come on, let's not let Dortmund get straight back into this like we did Juventus. Okay, Royce, no, Delaney, no. Oh, thank God, I was trying to come across there with Pistoni to block the shot. Didn't work out, but Mike Mignon saving us out there, getting it. Again, can't allow the opposition straight back into it. About to go into hard time here, let's just go in, one the up, that'd be great. The cross is in. Clear that, clear that, clear that, clear that. Okay, nope, still in play. It's still in play right now. Akanji, just get it cleared. Why is it, why are we struggling a little bit here? Just to, there we go. There we go, into half time, guys. 1-0 up. Oh, the Royce, the 1-2 with Haaland now. Royce on the ball, find a pass back to Haaland. Let's not, oh, come on. I do not want to concede in this, guys. Ideally, uh, let's, let's just try out, try and get the 2-0 win, keep the clean sheet and get ourselves through. Well, I say, get, give ourselves a good chance of getting through. And then Haaland made a great run. Okay then guys, so Sancho has just come on for Wolf. No idea why he was on the bench and Wolf was starting ahead of him. But either way, Sancho's now on the pitch. So if this Dortmund team wasn't strong enough already, it's even stronger right now. Sancho, you can see him out there making a great run on the right. And Ray Chan, come on. Okay, why can't we just get through and get a tackle in here at all? Kese, trying his best. There we go, guys. Help us. Ziyech, go on, lay out, lay out. Waiting for you. There you go. Okay, not the best of three balls. Back to Ziyech. You can see Jovic plays the ball down. Drag this one back. Okay, inside. Brahim. Just take it on your own. The shot. Guadero. Great block. Haaland running on through. Haaland plays the pass up wide. Come on. Let's sort it out. Let's sort it out the back here. What? No. Oh, guys, if we would have conceded there, I would have been so annoyed because he just spun our defender around. We feel like, look at that. He just spun him around, then took the shots on. And I think I was just thinking that Ronaldo goal near post. You know, I'm thinking, you know, if that goes in... That will be such an annoying way to concede. But here we go. Got themselves a corner. Now Bellingham coming on as well for Dortmund. Headed away. There we go, guys. Cleared. Oh, there we go. Liao is through after a great ball from Jovic. Liao, please finish this. Please. Please, I beg. Oh, Fabianski with the save. Liao, I was hoping for a good finish there. Salamakas. I, I might bring him on just for fitness, to be honest, guys. Royce is going to go off. A corner here. Whipped in. Come on, a good header. Good header is what I'm asking for. But a Kanji there. Heading it clear. Oh, there we go. There we go. Liao does get the goal, guys. Gets us two away goals now. 82 minutes in. And, you know, that corner. They wasn't able to get it clear in the end. We still had possession of the ball. And we made the most of it. And Liao does get his goal. Which, you know, Liao, after missing in the last game, I was almost half tempted to let him sit out this one. But we didn't really have any other options. So, started. And I'm just glad he did get us a goal. And now I feel more confident making changes. Because, as you can see, Brahim needs taking off. We need to rotate the team. Liao winning the header, finds ZX. ZX is able to push through. There we go, Jovic. Oh, guys, could be free. Could be free, it is free. There we go, Jovic. I tell you what, guys, over all the career modes I've done, and, you know, we've used the likes of Harry Kane, we've used the likes of Haaland, we've used the likes of Ronaldo, Mbappe, everyone. Jovic, again, isn't the highest rated. Fair enough, might be 85, 86 rated in this save, but his finishing is it's, it's, it's amazing. I, I'm speechless, do you know what I mean? Like... It is so clinical, considering he's, what, 85 rated. He's up there with the likes of Harry Kane, Mbappe, Ronaldo in terms of finishing, Haaland. You know, guys, unreal. And there we go now, 3-0. And everything, guys, the full-time whistle goes. We had two minutes added on, and we get the 3-0 win away from home against Dortmund. That set us up amazingly for this second leg right now, because it's looking like we are favourites to go through into the semi-finals, but you never know how it is going to pan out in this second leg right now. Again, we've done our job in the first leg. And that first half wasn't looking too promising, but second half, we really did come to life. And so we have got another game here then, guys, which we are going to go ahead and simulate. we got Sampdoria, we are away from home. We've had to rotate the team quite a lot here. You've got Damsgaard, Cunha, Neres, Paqueta, Benassa, Kese playing at centre-back. Because, again, a lot of these players do need some rest. Unfortunately, can't do a full rotate, but again, it's good enough. Let's go ahead, quick sim this. Can we get the win away from home? And it's a draw, guys, a 1-1 draw. Cunha getting a red card as well. That's not needed. Salamakas coming on for Jovic at striker. Interesting, but he did come on and score, to be fair. But let's get into the second leg then, guys. Taking on Dortmund. As you can see there, Bayern getting a 3-0 win over Inter in their first leg as well. And now, obviously, we've got a season objective there, guys, to do better than every other Italian team in the Champions League. And now Inter, the only other Italian team left. 
So if they get knocked out at this stage, we could complete that season objective. And so here it is then, guys. The second leg taking on Dortmund. As you can see, their team. No Marco Royce. I'm guessing maybe fitness levels aren't great. Sancho isn't going to start once again for them. But obviously, we do have the three away goals and a clean sheet from the first leg. So, so we're going to this pretty confident right now that we could go through and make it into the semi-finals. Let's get into it right now. Again, Hernandez out on the left for us. Brahim out on the right. Jovic Leo up front. Let's get into it and let's get a job done. So I didn't even notice then, guys, that Man City got a 5-1 win over Atletico. 5-1 win. So it's looking like the winner of this game is going to be seeing Man City in the semi-finals. But again, it's also to play for, you know, Atletico could go out there in their second leg and go and thrash them and get through. So you just never know. Things could change in these second legs. But let's go out here today. Let's just get this job done and get through. Okay, Leal feeding Ziyech through. Here we go, Ziyech. Look at the sprint speed here. Okay, go on. Turn him. There we go. Finish that. Finish that. Oh, what a finish, guys. What a finish. Six minutes in. Ziyech with the goal to make it 4-0 now over the two legs. Three away goals and a home goal. Dortmund, early on in both games, just not turned on fast enough. And it's allowing us just to get go, go through. And in this game, especially, grab the early goal here. You can see centre-backs just not fast enough. And then we go with the ball roll. And then that touch there, when I went closer to number 16, I thought, you know what, guys? I've ruined it. I've ruined the attack. But no, we get the shot off, and it's in the back of the net. And it's now 1-0 up in this second leg. Haaland able to feed it out wide to Hazard, and it's back in for Haaland. Wow, he misses, guys. I think Mike Mignon actually got something on that. I have to have a look at the replay, but that was great play. Haaland playing a lot of 1-2s. Gets the ball back here from Hazard. Mike Mignon, luckily for us, does get something on it. They've got themselves now a corner. I'm guessing it's going to be in towards... Okay, never mind. Mike Mignon able to catch that. Haaland just dipping in. Dortmund once again. Delaney now. Julian Brandt. Okay, got to be careful. Got to be careful. Let's not give away this lead right now. Okay, Haaland. Julian Brandt. Okay, that's great. Roe Magnoli cutting it out because if he didn't, Haaland through. Once again, this time ZH now. Go on, Leo. Perfect. Perfect, Leo. Finish. No, how are we not getting the shot away? Tonali right now, Hernandez on the overlap, Tonali, go on, back down, there we go, we do get it to Hernandez in the end, Hernandez, pass inside, Leal, finish, oh, Kanji, that's great, Theo Hernandez gets it in anyway, guys, he gets it in anyway, and I feel like he deserves that goal, after playing so well in today's episode, he definitely deserves that goal, and it's now 5-0 over two legs, I don't think there's any way back for Dortmund now, they would need four goals in this second half to get themselves a level, not, not even in front, in level, and Hernandez, what a finish that is. And, guys, it's getting silly now. Okay, no, no, we're going to concede. There we go. We do eventually concede, guys. Julian Brandt with the goal, 66 minutes in. Is there enough time left for Dortmund to get themselves at level? You just don't know. But I did not expect to, to, to concede. I really thought we'd get another clean sheet, which is which would be great. Just doesn't seem to fall that way in this game. You can see here the replay once again. Kese trying to press. Can't get anything on it. Tomori trying to press. And they're just passing around the press. And, and there you go. Pastoni beaten. Mike Mignon beaten. Julian Brandt gets himself a goal. And now what? 24 minutes left. Could Dortmund get another couple of goals? Cunha now making a run. you got Bustos inside for Ziyech. Ziyech, okay. Did have options here. Brahim now down. Bustos. Go on to finish maybe. Hits the post, guys. Hits the post. What a strike from him. Only 76 rated. Kese, go on. Oh, okay, we're just trying everything right now. Just to try and grab another goal. Why not? And Bustos. Can't believe he hit the post, guys. What, a, what an effort that is. 76 rated down. A little chip over. And we just can't get anything on it. So there's going to be two minutes added on. Maybe one last chance. Cunha through. Ziyech. Go on, Ziyech. Finish it. Go on. Oh, okay, I'll say finish it. It's already over. Let's be honest, guys. And Witzel there. And there we go. We are through. In to the semi-finals of the Champions League, guys. We could go all the way. But again, we have either next Man City or Atletico Madrid. So two very strong sides. Let's have a see right now who we've got. And here you guys can see then how the quarterfinals did finish. Bayern beating into knocking them out. So we've completed that season objective anyway. At least we completed one in today's episode. Barcelona knocking out PSG 3-1. We knocked out Dortmund and Man City knocking out Atletico Madrid 6-3. So this is how the semi-finals is looking. Bayern taking on Barcelona. And we're going to be taking on Man City. And I've got to say then, guys, it's quite disappointing how we're performing so well in the Champions League. Yet when it comes to the Serie A, we're just struggling right now to get a win. You know, get a couple of wins together. And Juventus, I think they're favourites now to win this right now. Of course, you know, there is still plenty of games still to be played. But still, 
Right now, five points clear and a game in hand on Lazio and Inter. So don't forget to join us then, guys, in the next episode. Because as you can see right here, we've got plenty of good games coming up. So next episode, we're going to play definitely the first leg against Man City. We've also got some interesting games in the Serie A as well. So these three games in the Serie A could determine if we finish in the top four or not. And also, guys, let me know down below in the comments what you think of the formation now and the team now that we've added Hernandez into it. Because, again, guys, today's episode has been absolutely unreal. Let's have a look, look at his sprint speed, 98. And that is what helps him. Stamina as well, 98. So he can go up and down the left-hand side all day long. And it's definitely not a problem for him. But again, I feel like it's an amazing episode. And I feel like we've sort of, you know, sorted the situation out. Again, Neres not been too great for us. But we've got Brahim now on the right-hand side. Hernandez out on the left. So the wingers, the situation's been sorted. But there we go, guys. That's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you have, please don't forget, drop a like down below on the video. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.